whew, from these lush coastal redwood forests of Northern California up to the Olympic Peninsula in Washington exist some of the last remaining wild populations of the Northern Spotted Owl, with only one individual left in all of Canada. These owls are on the brink of extinction primarily as a result of habitat loss through what was initially the logging of old growth forests along the coast of Cascadia, to the continued clear-cut logging of second growth forests that are never able to mature and reach levels of complexity that create the suitable habitat for the owl. Additionally, the Northern Spotted Owl has faced increased ecological pressure from what many consider to be the invasive barred owl, which is native to the east coast of Turtle Island. But for millennia, the barred owl was restricted to the forests of the east coast because of the gap in habitat created by the Great Plains and the Rocky Mountains. But with Western settler expansion over the past couple hundred years that planted trees and created forests, it allowed these owls to hop, skip, and jump across the plains, migrating out west, and as they are very territorial, they compete very heavily for the same habitat that the northern spotted owls utilize. While the northern spotted owls are specialists with very niche habitat and prey upon things like flying squirrels way up in the canopy of these coast redwoods here, barred owls are generalists, eating anything they can find from red tree voles to gray squirrels, which not only makes them very adaptable to new areas, but they can also severely disrupt the ecological balance and mix of species in these forests in the process, which can lead to a cascade of trophic collapse. In other words, they disrupt the food chain in ways that pose a bigger threat to many species beyond just the northern spotted owl. Now, there are many silver bullet approaches that are being implemented in varying degrees in order to save the last of these spotted owls, including the culling of barred owl populations. However, these are incredibly complex, intricate, trophic webs and ecosystems in which simple solutions just won't work. But instead, a holistic approach needs to be taken towards not only protecting remaining stands of old growth habitat for these owls, but implementing changes in the way that we manage and harvest wood from our second growth forest to increase complexity, biodiversity, habitat, and food sources, while still utilizing timber as a resource through selective and closed canopy harvest instead of clear cutting. Us humans are part of these ecosystems, not a part from them. And while the owl's position has been accidentally created by us through colonization, it's ultimately up to us to find a better way to steward these lands and ecosystems to create a better world and future not only for us human people but all the owl, tree, squirrel, and other non-human people here as well.